Hello everybody, welcome back to Cash Kicks TV. Today we're back with a new video and it's a video that if you followed my channel for, for quite some time, you knew that this was a video that was coming soon, right? So we got my first cop of the year 2021. As sad as that is to say, I'm supposed to be a sneakerhead. All my stuff, all my grind, I should, I should have at least five, six sneakers by now, but let me be honest with you guys, like, as you guys can tell by my last video I just had, things in Canada are really difficult right now. And I wanted to get straight into this early, because it's the reason why this is only now my first sneaker of 2021. And it's because things are a lot difficult, and of course, whenever a shoe drops, I can go and get it for resale anytime I want. Right, that's no problem. It's just, are these shoes that have dropped so far worth the resale? Carmine sixes, uh, what's it? Anthracite fives. Even though I actually did originally cop those, but I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that. But are these shoes worth resale? To me, they're not, because there were more shoes that they were the best releases of what was coming out. So of course you want them, but there wasn't really anything that I felt I needed in my collection. What I'm about to show you guys now, and what you should be able to tell what this shoe is, is something I needed in my collection, which is why I was willing to pay the little bit of extra money for I actually got a pretty good deal on these, right? I actually originally got these from another website, but something happened with that too, just my luck, but I said, no, I'm getting these for sure. So I paid a little bit extra, not too much over, I think I paid like $20 over retail, right? So not gonna complain about that, dropped off to me, everything. I may have found a really good plug. So hopefully this guy can continue bringing me great shoes in the future. As you guys know, we have a release, a big release coming out, the Jordan 4 Haze. Definitely need to add those to my collection, give you that Travis, the friends and family Travis Scott vibe. <laughs> I'm just playing, but definitely a dope release that I want to add to my collection at the end of the month. So definitely looking to do so there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into why we're here today. And that is to go over a little bit on the Jordan 3 Cool Grace. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. You guys really been rocking with me these last pre these last past videos. So let's keep that going. Let's keep rocking with me and let's get into it right now. I forget the day. I think it was like February 20th. We got a smooth Jordan 3 box with the, where they put the zebra cement pattern on it. You know, it's a three once you see that off the bat. So once you guys saw that I posted this yesterday on Instagram, this box, you should have knew exactly right away what shoe I got. Let's get a little bit into the sneaker now. Now, of course, these reviews have been on YouTube for a while. So you guys already know the ins and outs of these shoes by now, but I like to show the details of the shoe because there's people that later on decide to get the shoe and they need to see videos of what a real pair looks like because I'm telling you guys, fakes have its own market now. 
So I try to give you guys the best details on what certain things um, on the shoe look like. So this paper on the box, this would be a good thing that people that have fakes would, would not have. It's just a little detail on the box. You could just see like the spot, the cement spotting on it, if you could see that. That's something definitely to look at right off the bat when you look at the shoe. On the box, not really anything too crazy. Like I, I just feel like these guys can get these things now, man. Like I'm not gonna. Also, another good thing is if you really look in here, there is a Jordan sign in there. I don't think a fake pair would have that. So that's another good thing to keep an eye on right there, which is pretty dope. Let's get into the sneaker. I did lace them up already. Usually I do review, then I get into the lacing. But I was so excited to add these to my collection. Like I said earlier, I did a video about being able to cop these later on. That's how excited I was for these. If you have not watched that video, you could definitely go back and watch that now. But here it is, the Jordan 3 Cool Gray. I told you guys, Cool Grays in any number is a cop for me. And I'm going to start off with the negatives first, right? The quality on this shoe, for me, was a letdown. It really was. I was disappointed with the quality. You could already see, like, it looks like I wore it a few times already. And I know this guy did not wear them. He just got them the day that he uh, sold them to me. And I don't know, like, it, it kind of feels like two different textures. Like, this doesn't feel like suede. I know this right... Wow, never mind. This is definitely suede. But this, like, this part here on the inside of the shoe feels like really suede-ish and here feels like I don't know man like I never I never realized that yesterday anyways the quality on these are not the greatest which is kind of weird to me because when these did drop last I believe it was 2007 the quality looks amazing and that's kind of where they get guys like me on these shoes because I expect the quality to be better than 13, 14 years ago, but it's feeling like and looks like definitely that it's worse. Matter of fact, looking at this right here is really starting to bother me. Okay, yeah, I think that's just the way the shoe is because the inside. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's the first thing I'm going to say. The quality on these were not the greatest, right? But at the end of the day, I do love the colorway. I love the orange that was added to this shoe. Orange on a shoe is the number one standout. Like, it really is a color that pops out on a shoe, especially when you put just little tints of it like this shoe has. Like, you know, just that little bit of... If you guys watch my other video, like I said, I talked about this. Like, just a little bit of orange really just turns me on for this shoe, right? The quality definitely turns me off, but you, you got to love a three. And I really do love threes. At the back here, we got the, the Jumpman with the air in orange, right? For these, I did go true to size. Most of my shoes now, I just grab the same size, guys. Like, if, if it's a little bit big or a little bit small, I would just adjust that with my lacing that's pretty much all i do um here on a three we have a thinner tongue than usual i don't know if you guys can see that let me see if i can pull out oh my three's right here usually the threes have you can see on the unc three the tongue's a little bit thicker usually where on these ones we had definitely a thinner tongue i do like that because on a three i usually wear it with tighter jeans and sometimes with a big tongue, it kind of feels like I'm wearing like a Vans. Like, we know one of those Vans back in the day. I forget the name of it. But like, when the tongue is fat, it kind of looks like a skateboarding shoe. And when you're wearing it with tight pants. So, for you having a thinner, a thinner tongue, I'm definitely a fan of that. I think that was a good decision there. All in all, even though the quality wasn't the greatest on the shoe, I was very happy to add it. Because, guys, it's my first <laughs> release of the year. Of course, I'm going to have to... Uh, like I'm gonna have to appreciate it right but I think they could have done a better job quality wise but that just comes with it man like the more you get into sneakers is the more you start watching these little things before I would just be happy to just get these shoes now it's like I'm examining them like quality's not the greatest like it's kind of crazy how far we've came in the sneaker game like 
another thing I like about the shoes, like you see that little orange shocks there, like the Air Max. That was dope as well. Yeah. Just giving you guys a little view of what the shoe looks like. You know, of course you guys probably seen these on YouTube for quite some time now, but just giving you guys my opinion on the shoe. You know, can't wait till the snow goes away so we can start wearing these gray, cool gray. Just my favorite color on the shoe, to be honest. Like I can't wait for the cool gray 11s to drop this year. So this is definitely something that I would rock a lot. Like it would be like my go-to when it's time to start rocking them sneakers. Right now we just wear Tims and you know I mean stick it to the boots for now. And I'm not gonna kill these in the snow. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how ball and or cool you think you are wearing your shoes in the snow like and then i gotta put it back in my bins and my bins are wet like no like you know what i mean i'd rather hoop i'd rather play ball on these shoes every day than go in the snow and playing them so playing them go in the s snow and jumping in the snow and slipping and sliding and all that but that's pretty much it i have for you guys today man your boy was able to finally get a cop for the year we're going to turn up right now, though. Remember I said that. We are going to turn up right now. This got me a little bit of hunger back. Like, let me start getting these sneakers back. You know, I need to get some bins, too, because I don't even have a space to put these in. Everything is occupied. So, it's rather I kick somebody out or I got to order another pack from Amazon. I'm going to order some another eight from Amazon. I don't know where they're going to go, but we got to find room somehow, some way. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that like button because it helps my video be seen. It just makes YouTube say, you know what? He has quite a few likes. Let's people type in cool grade three. Let's show his video. You know what I mean? That's what the like button does for me. Hope you guys are having a good one. If you guys are able to cop this shoe, let me know in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss my next video. I'm Cash Kicks TV, and we are out. Come on, guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button.